What is happening guys? My name is Jamie and today we are doing an album review for the band Stargazer and their new album Psychic Secretions. <laughs> Stargazer is a progressive death metal band, or could I just say progressive extreme metal band, because they really do mix the genres now and again. Now this is a sort of a, a very different album in my opinion, like something really different, especially for, for people that do like extreme metal. It's not straight black metal, it's not straight death metal, it's not even straight progressive death metal. This album is in a lane of its own in my opinion, because there are certainly so much happening within this LP. So, Stargazer are an Australian metal band, in case you don't know, yes, I'm giving love to Australia this week. Uh, last review was Werewolves, well this is Stargazer. Stargazer is a more diverse, interesting band compared to Werewolves, but uh, yeah, if you like progressive extreme metal, you're gonna really enjoy this, because certainly there are songs that really tickles your emotions. And this band's from Adelaide, Australia, I believe. Uh, Stargazer, Psycho Secretions is such an interesting album overall. So many impactful moments. Black metal elements along with death metal elements along with prog metal elements to fuse them all together. It's just a one hell of a concoction, extreme metal surprise. There are beautiful soft moments. There are just heavy extreme moments as well along with clean vocals along with harsh, aggressive vocals. Yeah, incorporate elements of avant-garde style as well. The production makes this album very cosmic and quite atmospheric, especially through the first half of the album. Tone of the drums have a reverby sound along with the guitar. This album just goes strength by strength with the bass incredibly prominent throughout the mix on this. This album gives love to their bassist because the bass is incredibly prominent, especially through this song, Hooves and Occidental Scourge. There are so many different surprises along the way. So first off, the production is sweet, the guitar tone is sweet, and the drums are sweet. Kicks off with Semilacrum, which is overall a very slow, doomy sort of song, incorporating a really nice acoustic reverby guitar, and I just really do enjoy it. Semilacrum bleeds beautifully into the last song, which is Pilgrim Age. And Pilgrim Age is such an epic way to end off the album. Lash of the Titans is next. It's fast, it's hard, energetic, more on the prog death. I do love the intricate guitar moments along with the beautiful time signatures you're getting throughout this song and just the overall rhythmic pattern as well. <laughs> Evil Old Soul is next. Morva has a blackened tinge. This really reminds me of bands such as Behemoth. And I do really love the tremolo picking throughout this song. Really nice. Guitar melodies. Guitar melodies get stuck in your head. And overall, it's such a really awesome song. Star Vassal is next, and overall this is a very cosmic sort of song, a very cosmic vibey song that I really do enjoy. Some beautiful moments, clean sections throughout this song, but really hard and aggressive as well. His vocal style does change throughout this song, which I really do love. Incorporates more of that blackened tinge that I do enjoy. <laughs> Hooves is next and the bass is quite prominent. Beautiful introduction that leads onto really nice proggy sections throughout the song. Very imminent in tone and I just really enjoy how cacophonous this particular song sounds. It's quite proggy, there are different time signatures but overall it doesn't overstay its welcome. <laughs> With the next song, The Ascendant Scourge. The Ascendant Scourge is overall a really 
vicious song and I just really love how blackened this song is caught by more movements of that black metal. At times I think this album is black metal because of the way he expresses his emotion and not to mention the guitar rhythms, the tremolo moments as well and Occidental is a really really interesting song to uh, consider whether this is black metal or death metal but in my opinion this is prog extreme metal and it's really awesome. <laughs> Leads on to All Knowing A Cold. Uh, All Knowing Cold again is another black and tinged song that I really do enjoy. Incorporates many, many moments along with the guitar moments and not to mention the drumming. The drumming's flat and I just love the drum fills throughout the song. Proggy as well, nice mid sections, just a beautiful song. And leads on to Pilgrim Age, the last song. Pilgrim Age is so damn tasty in its own right. Slow at the beginning, beautiful guitar moments, and then a choir starts to build with cleaner vocals. It incorporates cleaner vocals throughout the damn, it really works. And it works so damn well, this song. And then it builds up to be quite an epic and hard hitting, hard hitting song as well, with incorporating death along with black metal vocals that I really do enjoy. And it just becomes quite epic and quite majestic in tone to end off the album. So overall, Stargazer Psychic Secretions is such an interesting album, it really is. Something you've probably never heard in the prog extreme metal spectrum, in my opinion, especially in 2021. This is a very unique album. It's one of my favorite albums of January. And no doubt you'll be hearing it a lot more, a lot more throughout this year, that's for sure. But as I'm listening to this album, I can't help but really fall in love with this LP. And yeah, should I buy it? Yeah, probably. I'll probably buy the CD and really dig my teeth into it. But yeah, what I heard was an absolute banger of an album. It gets an 8.5 out of 10. It's avant-garde, very proggy in style. The bass is prominent. The, the, the intricate guitar rhythms along with the intricate drum patterns as well. It's so damn yummy. It really is. It's a yummy album. Psychic secretions. So go check it out. So an 8.5 out of 10, it gets. So guys, comment below what you thought about this album review. Do you agree or disagree with my opinion? Keep the discussion going in the comment section below, and I will see you in the next one.